party, babe It's a price you gotta pay It's either with your heart or with your credit card And I love Cardi I just wanna rock Body out of y'all Shorty got that body out of y'all what up y'all i am back at it with a new video going into this new year it is currently 9 18 i don't know if y'all can see that 9 18 this is december 26th so you know it's a little late however you know i know i disappeared for a good year but you know i had a lot of things going on i'm sorry y'all i just i couldn't but um i'm back all right so you know i'm going into this new year very positive with my digital planners coming out with the business okay like your girl's not playing so um as of right now as you read by the title i am dying my hair and a lot of y'all is probably like your hair is black i don't know what you dying it black for but this is like a darker black like this is like natural like a natural deep brown if you want to say well it does it just has like subtle browns and my hair is virgin like i've never dyed it or anything like of that nature so like i've only like done waxes that come out with water so that's as much as i've done with my hair when it comes to color i've never dyed it never did any other thing that you could possibly do like semi-permanent all that stuff i've never done any of that so I don't know usually with my wigs especially if it's just like straight like I love how the jet black it's not really jet black but it's like a really really black and I can try and insert some pictures for you but I just like that look you know it's giving what it's supposed to give so oh yeah and excuse me y'all I look crusty okay like it's just I, I look a mess but we gonna get into this right now my hair I washed my hair like a couple days ago um, I did stretch it out so that's why it's like wavy and stuff. I just braided it into fours because I need to section it off into fours anyways. I'm going to start from the back and work my way up to the front. Um, I'm going to try and go ahead and detangle it. I don't even know if I should because it is kind of dry. I'm going to just detangle it with my fingers. But I do have the Revlon Color Silk and 10 this is what i'll be using for today and i got two boxes however for some reason i had an extra box in the house i didn't know about which is over there and it's like old so i don't even know if i should use it or not but i literally just opened it but it, ha it literally has the same stuff as these so just in case i run out at least there's an extra box I'm just a person who loves to give off looks. Like, looks are my thing. Like, I hate being complacent. I hate looking the same. Like, I need a, a change here, there, and everywhere around that. Okay? So, ooh, my hair is, ooh, my hair is dry. Say it with me, dry. So, so I'm trying to, like, finger detangle my hair. I'm actually like really really nervous y'all i've been doing my research i'm like is there i hope this. i believe it's like the cream of nature natural black so if i ever wanted to go back to like my natural hair color i can just use that because I, I like when i thought about this i'm like okay but what if when my hair grows out would it look odd or would it look different so just in case i don't like it and i always want to go back i always go back so that's the good thing about it Y'all, I'm so nervous. I'm over here watching a, a video of how to, you know, I'm like, anything pertaining to my hair, I do not play. So, all right, we're going to get started. They say you should use the applicator thing, but y'all know me. I got a lot of hair, so I don't think this is actually going to work. It just looks so small. Let me open the second box. Okay. It's another one. What's this? The colorant. Alright. So I have two of them. I feel like I'm gonna need that third box. Hopefully. 
quickly when I tell y'all like I've had that dog for the longest I don't even know how old it is that's 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 crazy like that joint is old and I That in there. It does come with gloves, but you know these gloves be way too big for your hands. So come on, man. like. So let's see. So once I start applying, part your hair into four equal sections as shown above. Blase, blase. Do not rub. Make sure into scalp. Leave on here for 25 minutes. Okay. Rinse thoroughly with warm water until the water runs clear. Apply entire contents of after color conditioner evenly to your hair, which is this. Leave on for two minutes, then rinse thoroughly with warm water. But alrighty. Let's go. So Oh, it smells so good. All right, y'all, we're gonna get started. And I've watched videos and people said like the hair feels dry at first until they use the conditioner. So I'm not going to trip because I've already watched multiple videos and everybody said that. So I just want to make sure. Okay. Like this year was crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like. Is it just me or is the world getting more crazy? Because all this killing people over some dumb, dumb issues, like that's not, that's not why the Lord put us on this earth. I feel like a lot of, a lot of it is more so like temperament issues, temperament based, like people need to get a grip of their anger. And I'm not one to talk because like when somebody take you there, they gonna take you there. But like it's like self-control discipline, like what y'all got going on? Like I don't know, it's never it's not it's not worth it at all. At all. And then oh my gosh, can we talk about relationships? I don't know what it is, but it's like relationship real relationships don't really exist anymore. Like I feel like men feel like they've dealt with so many women that only want them for their money and stuff, but then it's like there's a whole nother world, sweethearts. A whole nother world of women who don't need really need your money. Who can be submissive when need be. Okay? 
like it's just it's getting it's getting really pathetic and then when it comes to women like and again I'm not one to talk because everybody like what they like it's just like how many times do we gotta tell you dating the same man same type of man sorry like change up your narrative change up the dudes that you try and talk to I mean I, I can't put it any other way but um I don't know like it's just like because men have dealt with certain type of females they want to and same with women everybody want to treat everybody the same way so at the end of the day there's really no progress by the way I see it and then on top of that people are crazy these days so like it, and people be in there oh gosh people be in their feelings Jesus people be in their feelings because they don't understand rejection that's 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 a tough one to swallow y'all see my curls <laughs> it's really it's, I don't know it's crazy I don't know what I was about to say. But how was everybody's holidays? My holiday was chill. I didn't really do much, honestly. Actually, no, I lied. I, I'm decluttering my room as we speak. I have like a pile of clothes. I'm probably gonna sell most of them, donate like another part of it, and then like offer the rest to like my friends. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to go into this new year positive, different headspace, mind space, energy space, trying to get closer to God. I just need to be like on a routine and I should be straight because y'all know it takes 20 27 days to break a habit so might as well start now before we get into the new year because a lot of y'all be like oh yeah I'm gonna change I'm gonna change and then that first week comes you're doing the same thing that you was doing last year to the point where that week turns into two weeks turns into a month turns into the whole year again so like y'all gotta be disciplined and I'm, I'm do this I'm doing the same thing gotta be disciplined being put back on a regimen you know I'm an athlete so part of me staying focused was me being um, active and stimulate stimulating my brain by being active because I was always aware like I was very more I was actually like really more sharp than I was sorry than I am now I was definitely more sharp when I was like on a routine running for a D1 college so yeah I feel like this is about to take like an hour like at, like at least an hour and a half saturating it I don't really care about my roots because my, my hair is really dark as heck but I don't know let me try oh I forgot to pray please Lord Jesus Sorry y'all, whenever I do something different or drastic to my hair, I always pray. My hair has been through too much. I can't afford like to do. So I always pray. And that's just in life. Like, I always pray about everything before I do it. But y'all, I'm getting like really excited. It's a new year because I'm starting a new business. 
I don't want to drop too much about it yet, but just know it's coming. Your girl's a whole entrepreneur in this, okay? But um, for anybody who's done the big chop and has, you know, worn out their hair to the full extent, nothing else, props to you because it can be me. I remember my hair was like coming out, like it was growing out and it was looking very fugly. Like the shape wasn't really like there. The shrinkage was real for me, okay? Like, and when I modeled, there was a point in time where during like, before COVID hit, I was in New York, you know, during, um, not fashion week, but getting booked for fashion week and like I had to wear my natural hair you know the reason the main reason why I decided to do the big chop and like learn more about my curls just because I've always had it my hair's always been tough like I'm Nigerian like come on now like I got tough ass hair so my hair's like I said been through a lot and I that can come in with like some story times along the way but like I wanted to know more about my hair I wanted to like love myself like re-love myself all over again and then like learn how to deal with my type of hair so my hair has come a long way I did the big chop in college I was inspired by one of my roommates um So like I did it and I did it over break so I came back to the point where like I wore my natural hair probably for the last two years I was in college I barely did any weaves or anything like that I was just wearing my natural hair um mind you I literally went from a faux hawk Yeah, I think I did faux hot. I would wear it out like in a faux hot and I would put the sides up like this. And it worked. It worked for the longest. Until my hair started growing out. So, you know, I had to find a new style. And that was fine by me because my hair was growing. No complaints. But, um. So. So the faux hot turned into twist outs. To the point where my hair, like with the twist out, looked like at a, it looked like a nice length. So I was like, okay, I can wear this out, you know. My hair, I got some inches, whatever. So then my hair grew out some more to the point where, like, the end of my senior year, I was my junior year, my senior year, I was doing like high puffs. So, like, I would do like one big high puff and it looked so cute. It was not that big, but it was also not too small, so it was like perfect size. So then I was here for it to the point where it was like okay you know I've graduated now I'm living the real world I got to get up for work like um by like 6 40 yeah I had to be at work at 6 45 so you know I don't have time to be doing my hair <laughs> so I had to put it away and as I was doing that I noticed like my hair would grow more while I was away so I was like oh no no problem you know I'm, I'm here for this y'all see my curl the hair but um yeah I was like okay no problem I love the journey like I really want my hair y'all once my hair like reaches like titty length nobody can tell me nothing like my hair is probably gonna be out for the rest of my life like I just want my hair to reach titty length and I'm straight most likely curly wise it'll probably go like here and it'll be titty length straightened that's fine too like I, I just want to like pass my shoulders completely. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Moving on to the next section. So, um, now, so literally every time like I took like cause I, weaves turned into wigs. Um, once I was done with college so 
especially since I knew how to install it. Like, <laughs> I ain't had to spend no much, that much money. The only time I was spending money was on my hair. So, but yeah, like once you learn how to install, I literally can install a wig in like 30 minutes or less, depending on how much time I really want to. But so that turned it turned into wigs. So I really wasn't like stressing. And then on top of that, I finally found somebody who can do my hair. And it's in my one of my other videos. I'll drop it. I'll drop it here so y'all can click or whatever. But like I found a person who I trust with my hair. So I would go in literally like every month. I was very consistent until like half half the year was over because I got so busy with work. But I'll go in every month, get a trim. I'll get a um, hydration treatment and then a trim. And that's all I would want. That's literally all I would want. I don't want nothing else. And my hair was growing. Like, <laughs> like it was growing. Like right now my hair really misses her. And I know I need to go in go see her and I will but I got like the hydration treatment stuff that she uses on my hair so like my hair isn't as like like reverting back to how originally was before I met her but yeah like when I tell you my hair has been growing especially me just putting it away not touching it that's really the goal eating well drinking a lot of water taking your pill like your vitamins and like just taking care of your hair like soaking it and giving it water that's literally literally all that's it that's the crack that's the cold to long jelly when it comes to your hair i promise y'all like i don't really like touching my hair because i noticed like my hair is, is like me she a little stubborn okay but sometimes you just need a little slap slap put you in check all right so that's why I sometimes give her. Cause yeah, we can't be going out looking a mess. Like that's not okay. That's never been okay. So I understand my hair now to the point where like, especially when it comes when it's seasonal, I understand my hair. And you it's a 50-50 relationship. Y'all listen. And you just gotta fix it. And I know it's not just me. There's like one side that's thicker than the rest. Like, I would say like this side is more thicker than this side. Wait. Wait, no, I think this side is thicker than this side, but this side is longer than this side. If that makes sense. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. I feel like it's not just me. And then on top of that, I sleep on this side, so maybe that's why the length is it's like that. But this side is definitely my thickest side compared to my right. <sighs> Y'all, this smells so good. Now, I know I really shouldn't be inhaling because it's chemical, but it smells so good. say like we're in that that time well I'm in this time frame where like most of my friends like it's either got a baby or they get married and I'm excited because I'm about to be bridesmaids of bridesmaids one of my good girlfriends from college she just got married shout out to Yinka Cameron okay like yo they're so cute like what like it was so their wedding was so gorgeous like it's it was literally like a dream. Like it was so pretty. You could look like a princess. What? Yo, and us bridesmaids, we didn't come to play, okay? Like, don't play with the gang. Same with the groomsmen. Everybody looks so nice. It was, it was fun. And then like my one of my best friends, she's getting married. Shout out to Brianna and Matt. Like, y'all. My friends are really doing it big okay like oh i can't wait 
Y'all, we supposed to get our dresses by the end of the month. We're supposed to order our dress by the end of the month, I think. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited. Like, oh, I hope I don't cry. Like, I cried with the Nika. I even, I'm over here telling other people, you better not cry with Blase Blase. And here she come walking down the aisle and literally uncontrollable tears just coming down my face. Like, excuse me, body. Who told you to, who told you to start melting? Like, what? I was so shocked. I cried. It was so beautiful. But yeah, I'm excited for Bree's wedding. Oh. And I'm not and Bree, she gonna do it big because she always do everything big. So I know this gonna be top tier, okay? And if you're not there, <laughs> you should have been, okay? This won't be one of those. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. Oh, how'd you get out? Mm -mm. Drop down below what was your favorite 90s sitcom, like 80s, 90s sitcom, like Wayne Brothers also loved me like Saved by the Bell. Like I didn't start watching that until like I was like the end of um I think it was like the end of high school. But yeah, that it was lit. It's very lit. But yeah. So I'm gonna come back to y'all once like I'm almost done. All right, so I can show you the difference between the two. Be right back. All right, y'all, I'm almost done. I'm gonna figure it out. Wait, can y'all see the difference? I don't even know if there's if there is a difference. Okay, but let's do this because I. Oh my gosh, in my eye. Bruh, this is the second time. I don't really think there is a difference. Can y'all tell? I feel like it looks the same. Okay. Oh my gosh, if y'all see. Alright y'all, the timer went off, I'm about to hop in the shower. I was able to clean up everything with good old bleach. I'm about to rinse this dye out, put the conditioner in for two minutes. I'm going to come out and style my hair. Yeah. Alright y'all, that was a long process. Um, I was literally taking, it was taking forever to get the last part of the coloring out. I feel like it's still not out so I did the first of all that conditioner I understand why people meant like their hair was like really really dry I understand that part but like once you put that conditioner in butter straight butter to the point where I'm actually like trying to find it like it was so good but um yeah tomorrow morning I'm gonna give it another rinse just cuz I couldn't do it literally my fingers are like it was too much so I'm a I got most of the hair dye off of my body except for my legs like my legs st still on my legs but 
I'm gonna try tomorrow morning. I'm gonna try and rinse everything out just one more for the last time, and then I'm gonna style it. But as of right now, I'm definitely looking for this conditioner because I know I'm gonna need like a color conditioner so the color doesn't like fade out. Oh, I'm 